So this time lapse is on a duct tape by Fold Wallet. So right now I'm just starting to make the first part of my billfold and then co covering the sticky side up with tape, graffiti 2.0, to and making sure to leave a quarter inch of sticky at the top. So now I'm starting on my hidden pockets using clear tape to make the wallet thinner and I'm just cutting those into two, three, and three-four inch sections and then cutting out some more graffiti 2.0 and then to attach it onto the wallet. And I'm making sure to line it up with the trim on the billfold as well. So now I'm just attaching those and covering up the sticky at the bottom with clear tape as well just because it doesn't really matter since it won't be seen and it will end up thinner. So now I'm working on the pockets and for each pocket I need a piece of my main color and a piece of my trim color. So I'm just cutting those out now and attaching them on top of each other but making sure to leave sticky on the top and bottom for trim. So on my second pocket I mess up on it and make it uneven so I decided decide to use it on my ID later on. So now I'm working on my second pocket once again and then folding it over as well using the same technique. So I have to, I'm on my third pocket right now and doing the same thing I did earlier and making sure that they're as straight and as even as possible. So on the second one, uh, it looks a little lopsided I guess and I'm just redoing that one and making sure to be a little bit more careful this time. And I still don't like the way it turns out, so I try to trim it down with my X-Acto knife. But that still doesn't work. So I just decided to do it the old way. And take a piece and cover it up the old way. So now I'm working on that. And attaching it onto the hidden pocket with the rest of them. So now I'm just taking another piece and attaching it to the sides so obviously your cards will fall out. So now I'm taking my top loader and cutting it into two sections and then taking one of those pieces and cutting it down to size so that it is appropriate for my wallet and that it will be able to fit a card in it nicely. So now I'm just trimming that side of the ID and then attaching it to my pocket so that there will be a pocket on top of the ID and then trimming it. So now I'm just making a piece to cover up the side of my hidden pocket so that the edges of them aren't raw and that they're rounded and nice. And now I'm just covering up the bottom of my pocket to make it the same color so that it'll look nicer and then closing the side of the pocket as well. So now I'm just cleaning up my mat to make room to make the second part of the billfold. Again using the same colors and cutting off, I'm cutting off a half an inch at the top so that I can use it to cover up the sticky at the bottom of the wallet later on. So now I'm just lining up the tape, making sure to leave sticky on all sides of the wallet so that it's easier to attach later. So then I'm just continuing doing that and then trimming it down to size. So as you can see, I still have a lot left over. So now I'm just trimming it down to a quarter of an inch and then wrapping that over to use as trim. So I'm just cutting slits in the wallet and trimming it down a little bit and then folding up the bottom and then covering up with sticky and then doing the same to the sides. So the time lapse got cut off at the end, but all I really did other than that was trim the sides of the wallet so that they were both a quarter of an inch, and this is the final product.